I've been playing Dr. Mario on my Game Boy Color for, I don't know, a ton of years. I can't remember, like, might be 12 years now, something like that. Um, and I saw this online, and it's supposedly 400 games uh, on this little device. It was like $13, something like that. Um, so let's do an unboxing. I know folks like the unboxing. So let's open it up. And empty box. Out to the side. Um, you can play that into a TV. Some type of uh, instructions. Came with a little charger in a little center of what I call the the Android phone type charger, USB one. And uh, here's the, the device. So here's let's compare it in size to the Game Boy. So it's smaller than that. Um, it seems like the the buttons are smaller, which I don't like that. Uh, looks like the control pad there is fine, um, but uh, let's see uh, see what the gameplay is on it. Um, I'm not sure if it has Dr. Mario on it or not, but let's see. It has a battery on it that's rechargeable, which is nice, and it looks like you can change the battery. It's probably some older standard uh, Android phone, and that's where you plug uh, to charge it. That's where you, I guess you plug it if you want to hook it up to your TV, although I'm not sure why. A lot of TVs don't have that. They're you know, HDMI at this point. But turn it on. Ah. It says select, select language, Chinese or English. My Mandarin's not very good, so I will go with English. Whoops. Whoops. I think I hit the wrong one. Okay, good. So... Bring it down. All right. Okay, good. Now it's in English. So it's got Super Mario. I'm just going to read it. And it has Dr. Mario. Wow. What not expect that. Let's try it out. Now I'm assuming this is probably the, the version that they used on uh, the NES. Whoops. Hit the wrong button. All right. That's going to take it. That's going to take a little while, a while to get used to. Don't, don't hit that button. That Don't hit that button there. Okay. So that it says start and select. It's really kind of uh, small to see, but all right. Yep. It's the Dr. Morrow they had on that. So I'm going to guess this. these are these games are probably not licensed. And I'm not really laughing because it's funny. I'm just laughing because, you know. So... Typically, I play on level seven, medium speed, and uh, you know, let's see how the gameplay is. It seems to be okay. Um, obviously, I, I prefer the the original version of it. Okay, so it is definitely it's definitely playable. Now, when I smash it, it that usually gets it where I can get to the other side. So, okay, I'll just hit that button. English, maybe there's a way to turn that off. I don't know, but uh, supposedly there's 400 games. But uh, it has Dr. Mario. It's already worth 13 bucks for me because to get that cartridge right there. Um, would cost cost a pretty good bit. So, um, and I got this one um, off of Facebook. Uh, I, I when I say these cheap, I buy. I think I bought this for like ten bucks, and I had that cartridge. The cartridge itself cost more than that. Um, but I, I just like the, the I, out of all the Game Boys that were out there, that's my this is the most ergonomic to me was this this original one here, and um, I really like that a lot. Got the turtles. Got Contra. Bubble Bobble, Snow Brothers, Double Dragon, hmm. Robocop, Mortal Kombat 4. Let's see how that one is.
Yes, yeah, the NES, it's the NES games. So if you would have told me as a kid, uh, one day you, you can carry around an NES in your in your hand, I would say that's insane. So I would go backwards. I got Pac-Man. Let me see what Pac-Man that is. And I, honest, to me, Pac-Man's not that much fun. It's more fun with a joystick, but you know. Yep, it's this the NES one. Which is actually a pretty good clone of it. I mean, a pretty good version of it. Alright. Got Pinball, Ninja, Mappy. I'm just saying that game's Joust, Crotatech. Uh, I never could say that one, but I play that a lot. I love Joust. So, there's Joust. So, honestly, as a kid, I would have loved to have this, and as uh, an older adult, that is, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have some fun with this also. It's, it's the, the playability is good enough, but I'm not, I'm not gonna complain. So. So I guess the only way is go hit that button there to go back. So I don't have time to go through all 400 games on here, but I'm sure there's a lot of repeats on here. It would be cool, you know, if you could install your own games on there. There's Galaga. I gotta check out Galaga because I put a lot of quarters in Galaga back when I was a kid. Galaga. Yep. It, this may be the arcade version. Yeah, this is this is pretty baller. That doesn't mean I'm not going to get great at Galaga. Because I am. I'm great at Galaga. All right. So that's kind of cool. It has that. And uh has Glaxi in it, which I like. Gorf, I like. Uh, Raid. Defender. Man, that's a hard game. Donkey, all, Donkey Kong's 1, 3, Junior. 1, 2, 3, Junior. Big Doug. Uh, Combat. I'm assuming that's the, the 26th Burger Time. So... Spider-Man, Tank. Anyways, it seems to be a, a fun. I already seen some doubles, so I guess you can just memorize where your games are at. Mario Brothers, Doctor Mario again on three seventeen, but it's like number four also. So I doubt it's any different. It's the same game. It'd be really cool if they actually had the Game Boy one or. Like the the Super Nintendo one or something like that. So So I would say uh for the price you, for thirteen bucks and change and I haven't plugged it into a TV, I'm sure it works all right. It's got that little you know it looks like the screen went off. When you have that plugged in there, so I guess you can, you can do that as you're playing on the on the, on the TV. So uh, yeah, I'm um, quite impressed with it. Don't know how long the battery life is going to be, but uh, for 13 bucks, I give it a thumbs up. I got it on uh, on Amazon, and it's called uh, the SU Soup Game Box 401. They had like 501, but I suspect it's the same thing. There's going to be so many repeats. There's probably like 40 games, maybe 60 games that are, you know, games that you know that you might want to actually play. 
But uh, this is actually one that was, uh, you know, if you go on eBay, you know, if you if you have it you come from China, it might take, you know, two months or a month or something like that. So, you know what? I give this a thumbs up uh, right now. I don't know. if it, It's not going to replace my Game Boy Color and playing Dr. Mario on this because that's so much fun to me. But um, this is something that you could throw in a, you go on a trip or something like that or doctor's office or whatever, wherever you got to wait and you don't want to, play a game on your phone, you can actually play a game with uh, some real controllers, it's good enough. I, I only complaint I would have is have these um, buttons here just slightly bigger, you know, like twice the size, and I think it would be, you know, just perfect in a lot of ways. You know, the screen is the screen's actually way bigger than the Game Boy, so, you know, and it could, uh, if you're a business guy like me, you know, ready for action? Ready, ready, ready to go. So, uh, I think that's pretty good. Uh, you know, the Game Boy is—you would know I had a Game Boy in my pocket. So, anyways, as always, rock and roll. Of course, it does compute. If you like this type of amazing content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Competed. Mm -hmm.